Hello everyone. Welcome to my AI Mastery where you'll get to know about the latest generative AI tools. In this video, we will cover the latest update on the premium image generation tool Midjourney. Until now, Midjourney had been used by signing up for a Discord community and entering the prompts over there. Now with Midjourney Alpha, you can easily use Midjourney in a more personalized experience, much like Google Images. We will have a detailed overview of Midjourney's new interface and try to create and edit some images to find out how this version is different from the previous ones. Here we go. Things get a lot more simpler and easy to use and easy to understand in this new interface and in this latest version of Midjourney. All you have to do is you need to enter the prompt over here in the prompt box and the magic will happen for you. Let's say we come up with the generic prompt like So we came up with the prompt like a cute horse in a busy urban area. So as soon as you press the enter key and go in the create tab, there you will start seeing your image getting generated. So for your prompt, mid journey is going to show you four different results. Let's see what sort of results it comes up with for a very generic prompt. Wow, this looks nice. We've got, we've got a cute horse in a busy urban area. That's very nice. That's the second picture we have got. That's the third one. And here's the fourth one. It looks more like a statue. So in the create tab, you're going to find the pictures that you have asked for and all the history of images that you have uh, generated using this tool. So if you want to make changes or you want to edit any of these images, then this interface and this latest mid journey version has made things extremely easy for you. All you need to do is you need to click this image and here, not only does it actually show you the kind of actions that you can perform with this image, it explains each and every action as well. Let's say if you go on the very tab, it says make images similar to this one with slight changes, subtle changes or strong changes. You can upscale the image. It tells you that you can create a larger version of the image, ideal for sharing, saving, or printing. You can run the same prompt again. You can edit this image or you can use the image style or prompt, whatever you want. Let's say if I want to click strong. So for this image, it is going to give me four similar results, similar to this one. Let's go in the create tab and see. So now our mid journey engine is back at work. So it's going to give us four different variations of this image that we had selected. You see? We keep on coming up with better and better results. So not only these editing options, you can also edit your image settings from here. All you need to do is you need to click these prompt settings bar. You can choose the aspect ratio. Uh, you can also change the stylization, the weirdness, the variety of the image with an explanation, explanation of each and everything over here. So that's really good basically that you've got the guidelines for each and everything. So that was about generating images and making edits, uh, making additions to the images, making them look better. But the best part about this interface is that you can learn to develop the specific and the most effective prompt to, gen to get the kind of results that you are looking for. Here in this Explore tab, you are going to come across different inspirational images that other creators have created. So for each image, once you create that image, you're going to come across the image and the prompt which was used to create that image. So someone came up with the prompt of a white female cat standing like a human wearing a brown cross-shaped blouse, a purse, fancy sunglasses, you see. So the more you browse this tool, the more you're going to find out the kind of prompts which are required to generate different results. Let's see a few examples. Let's say someone came up with this beautiful image of a cat. So if you want to generate something similar, you got to come up with a prompt like this, a hyper-realistic image shot with 24 mm wide angle lens, all of these details. So you see the level of details this guy has got in his prompts and the kind of results he has got, the more specific and 
accurate your prompt is, the more accurate the results you're going to get. So it's it's more of a learning platform for you as well. The more you browse it, the more you explore the different types of prompts and the results, it will make it a lot easier for you to generate the results that you're looking for. And it has also got different chat rooms. Let's say if you went into this lobby and here, you're going to come across different people generating different types of images. So these are the images. And for these images, someone came up with this prompt. And you can also chat with different users. You can collaborate on different projects and you can work as a team in a specific chat room and generate something. So these are the, these are the different types of rooms that are available over here. You can create a room, do whatever you want with your, with your artwork. You can, um, you can bring some active users over there and start working together on a project. So that was a brief overview about Midjourney tool. I hope you really like this one. Uh, what I want you guys to do is to explore this in more detail and try playing around with different prompts. Try browsing it as much as possible to find out the kind of results other people are getting for their prompts. And you will master this tool in no time. Let me know in the comments section what you think about this video or any experiences you have had with this generative AI tool. And up until the next video, thanks for watching.